By the way, that guy has not played since Tuesday. That guy has not had an at-bat since Tuesday, by the way. He hasn't had an at-bat since Tuesday. I, I, don't know, I don't know what to say to recap this. I don't know what to say to recap this game. There, there's no words to explain what the hell I just watched. The Giants' offense was good today for the first time in about three years, it seems. But the pitching, what the hell was this? Let me just go over what the hell happened with this pitching. Alex Cobb gave up four runs to the Oakland A's. He got two home runs to Nick Allen, who had one home run coming into this game. He hits two today against Alex Cobb. Two bullets off the bat. Second, Luke Jackson. What the fuck was that? This man, Luke Jackson. Let's see what he did. Let's see his amazing outing. He got Blade to ground out. Congratulations. Got Blade to ground out. Actually, no, this is not Luke Jackson. No, okay. Brent Rooker reached on air on Crawford. Crawford's a spooky, scary skeleton. That's not on you. Luke Jackson walks Jordan Diaz. Then he four pitch walks Tyler Soderstrom, who's batting 197. 9 for 47 is clear. 197. He walks him on four pitches. Okay, so if you're a good capper, what do you do here? Luke Jackson does not have it. He has no control. He's throwing pitches down the middle or he's throwing pitches 70 feet out of the zone. What do you do here if you're Kapler? Go to a new pitcher or stick with this guy? If you get stick with this guy, you're right. Kapler's a clown. He doesn't go to Scott Alexander because his iPad says, no, don't do it because it's a righty at the bat. Kapler can't do that. He's not allowed to throw lefties against righties. He's not allowed to do that according to Farhan and the stupid iPad. So he sticks with Jackson, and guess what he does? He allows a two-run double by Shea Langoliers, which gives the A's the lead. A toddler can watch this game and say, hey, you got to take out Luke Jackson. You can't stick with him. Uh, no. Gabe Kapler doesn't even have the brain of a damn toddler. This guy doesn't have a brain, period. This is not a good manager. I don't care that he wins. 2021 was not on Gabe Kapler. It was on every single goddamn player having a breakout year. Brandon Crawford batted 300. This man batted 300 in 2021. What's he batting now? He's batting 205. There's still people who defend Gabe Kapler for 180. Then, then what does Luke Jackson do? He gives up a double play. and Well, not a double play. Allen reaches and he strikes out a reach. So that's it with that. And then after Luke Jackson, it's Scott Alexander, who I guess had a good out. He didn't allow a run. And then Ryan Walker comes in. Walker gives up a sack fly. Okay, you can't control that. Then he walks Jordan Diaz, and then he picks him up. That's that inning. Ryan Walker was not bad. Walker got the loss yesterday. I still don't understand why Kapler would go to Ryan Walker after he threw about 30 pitches yesterday and got the loss when his confidence is clearly down. But whatever, Kapler goes to Walker. Walker, I guess, does the job done. He gives up one run after Alexander loads the bases. Then Junius comes in, whatever. The game is over by then. Now let's look at this offense. The offense was not an issue. The A's used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going to calculate real quick how many men the Giants left on base. 2, 4, 6, 7, 9, 11. Giants left 11 men on base against the Oakland Athletics. Who are 49 games. I'm sorry. Now they're 48 games. Below 500. After they sweep this poverty f***ing team. They sweep them. And Farhan Zaidi has the guts to say. I think we're in a good spot with where we are. Especially with this offense. He has the guts to say that. And all he does is get A.J. Pollock. Who's batting 170. In the 170s. And Pollock hasn't even had that bat since 
fucking Tuesday. If you go after a big man, a big name with a trade on like AJ Pollock, at least use them. Ninth inning comes up, Trevor May comes in. He, Trevor May is known for streaming Fortnite, and the Giants go down 1 2 3. And Brandon Crawford has two of the worst errors you'll ever see. The first one was a low one that Wade, Wade should have picked out of there. Fine. But this second error, what Crawford throws, attempts to throw at the first. <laughs> Crawford throw pen. He throws it into the Giants bullpen. Crawford is like 70 years old. There is no reason Ryan Crawford should be an everyday player. You, I'm finally sending down Casey Schmidt. But calling up Mark Mathias over Marco Luciano for the Casey Schmidt spot is a joke. What did Luciano do wrong in the majors to be sent down in the first place? What did he do wrong? If you call down Schmidt, I understand calling him down the first time. Whatever, that's fine. Get him some reps at second base. He gets reps at second base. Schmidt gets sent down. You have a choice to make. You either call up a career 4A player in Mark Mathias, who's, I don't even know what his batting average is. I don't really give a shit. He's not going to get in that battle with this team. Or you call up your top prospect. What do you do? You call up the career 4A player. There... Uh, these the decisions that this front office and management make on a day to day basis is baffling. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they get these thoughts in their head. It's a joke. It's a joke. I'm shocked they didn't call up Brett Wisely today. They love Brett Wisely. Shocked they didn't call him up today. This is. This is this team is not a playoff team. I don't care if the ten games above five hundred. All the positives who think Abe Capo is a Jesus is Jesus reincarnated. I don't care if this team is ten games above five hundred. This team, if they make the playoffs, is getting swept. I don't care who they play. They'll get swept by the Phillies, they'll get swept by the Dodgers. God forbid they play the day on Braves. Oh my god, that would be something. They they're getting swept no matter who they play if they make the playoffs. Why waste your time? It's you should have sold the deadline. This team is not going anywhere if they make the playoffs. It's just this is a wasted season. Especially if you keep the young guys down. This is a wasted year. I felt really good to get off my chest. I haven't even mentioned the schedule this team has this month. Let's look up this schedule. So you have the Oakland A's who were 50 games below 500 before you come in. And play like the Oakland A's. You get swept. Now you have the Angels. The Angels are struggling. They've they lost six in a row. But still, they got they bought the deadline. They got better, the Angels. So that series is really up there. I think the Giants lose two or three. The Angels. You got Bruce Bochy in their Angels. Giants are going to get absolutely pummeled by Bochy. I don't see the Giants winning a game against the Rangers. That Rangers offense is going to expose the pitching like today. And the Rangers have a good pitching staff, especially if Scherzer and and Scherzer and Montgomery pitch. Giants aren't going to score a single run. And the Rangers' offense doesn't matter who Giants are pitching; they're going to score at least four a game. That's going to be an ugly series. After Texas, you have Tampa Bay. I think Tampa Bay is fraudulent, but I also think Tampa Bay is better than this hunk of junk. This Giants team. Then you got the <laughs> the Braves, the best team in baseball. Averaging, like, what, eight runs a game? I said on my tab. Averaging, what, eight runs a game with amazing pitching? Yeah, that's a sweep. Especially in Atlanta, that's a sweep. Then you have the Phillies. That's a huge series. The Phillies are red hot right now. Trey Turner is awake. He is back. You're losing 2-3 to the Phillies. Then the Braves, again, at home. Back-to-back weekends against Atlanta. I said this entire week with the Braves and Phillies. That's nine games. The Giants go one and eight. The Giants go one and eight that stretch. Then you got Cincinnati at home. I think Cincinnati will fall off by then, but still, this Giants team sucks. I say at the most they took two or three. Then San Diego. The Padres are back. The Padres are good. They'll lose three or four. 
Then the Cubs. The Cubs are going to make the playoffs. They're going to beat the Giants out. Giants lose 2-3. or three. So I don't, I'm going to calculate it after. I'm going to calculate this after. What I have the record as being on this stretch. But it's not good. This is a series with against the Oakland A's. Who again were 50 games below 500 before this series. This is a series you had to sweep. You can't get swept by them. This A's team, their best player, just got DFA'd yesterday. Their best player just got DFA'd. I don't know. That, that, that's all I have.